In this tutorial, I'll show you one of the tricks that I use for improving the quality of the images within the game engine. Because when we're working in the game engine, we're working in real time. And so we don't have to sp spend a lot of time processing the rendering of objects. And you can tell by in here, if you look at this object here, you can see, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but there's this little stair stepping, which is the artifacts associated with aliasing. And if you're in the Blender render, under the camera button down here, you have an option called anti-aliasing. So when you actually render the image, you can smooth out these jagged edges. All right, sometimes we call them jaggies, but it is, it's called aliasing. All right, so, but if we switch back over to the Blender game engine, then th there, of course, is no option for anti-aliasing. So if I run this, let's take a look at the difference between the jaggies that are on this versus the aliasing associated with this green object here. All right, so now it's running, and if you take a look at the pink one, you can see the edges are harder, and they're, you can see the stair-stepping a little bit more versus the green one, not quite as much, all right? And so what I've done to do it is, all I've done is I've, in here, I've taken this green object, and I added a second one behind it. So here's the front object, and let me take a look at the parameters in here. It's just this particular color, and then here's the plane that's behind it and you'll notice it's slightly transparent so it's a separate material and down here I had all I done was set the transparency and drop the alpha down and it's just a separate object that's sitting slightly behind the main plane and you know you can see it if I scale it up like that you can see it has a little bit of transparency like that and so if you just put a little bit of transparency in a second object that's slightly behind it and if you work it just right you can smooth out those edges and there's all kinds of other tricks to try and make it ideal but with something as simple as a plane that doesn't take up much processing power it's worth the effort just to put a little bit in to help make your uh, the edges of your objects look smooth in some cases because if you get off to you know angles that are really sharp instead of just straight then these edges can really show up dramatically but anyway uh, and this is my uh, my latest calendar that I'm working on I'm basically building clocks and dials and digits and calendars and the whole nine yards to incorporate it in all my other projects. These aren't quite trivial. The, well, the analog clock is fairly straightforward to design and build, but the digital clocks are not, and the calendars are not as well, but they're all really important. So, for instance, in the uh, tornado simulator, I'm going to have a bank in there, of course, and typically at a bank, what do you have? You, you know, you have a display of the time and the temperature and things like that, and those are all digital displays. So using it that way versus using just a regular text object, because with regular, with these type of objects like this, you can change the colors and move them anywhere, and it's a lot simpler than using uh, just a traditional text object. All right, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.